Jan Mulby fired Liverpool into the lead with this long-range effort. heading down, Thomas miscued and Rush played it back and Whelan fired it and it came to Moby and that's the equaliser that Liverpool have been threatening to score. The equaliser was a Jan Moby penalty. The young Dane had become a substantial influence in his second season at Anfield. And Jan Moby tends to hit his penalties with some force serves me often to the keeper's right but I'm sure David Seaman in the Birmingham goal will have studied those matters well here's Mulby with a chance of making it 3-0 and Seaman went the right way but couldn't hold it and it's 3-0 for Liverpool driven with force in fact it was a bit close to the keeper that one Danish international Jan Mulby then put the Merseysiders into the lead from the penalty spot. And here's Hansen. Oh. We then some space away on the left for Mulby. Referee uh, signaling that Fashion can come back onto the field. But there are problems at the other end at the moment for Wimbledon. McMahon to Mulby. Five minutes of the second half gone. And maybe a slight question mark against Dave Besant in goal. It's Mulby's first goal of the season, apart from two penalties. And that's what puts Liverpool 1-0 into the lead. Just inside the box. Cottage's tackle. This time a little bit too late there. Here's Joe uh, Mulvey uh, with the chance to put Liverpool two goals in front again. And he does so.
The same side, the same result, and Liverpool go two into the lead. Well, Abrizovic determined in the first place not to be caught out again, but he again went the wrong way as the Big Dane puts Liverpool 2 0 ahead. And Mulby will get a remarkable hat trick of penalties if he can put it past Abrizovic for the third time. And he does. 3 1 to Liverpool. A hat trick of penalties for Denmark's Jan Mulby. And in the event, a goal that Liverpool probably needed as Coventry came snarling back at them. After... Space here for Spackman. He took up a good position there, but Troll let him down a little bit. Oh, what a lovely ball by Spackman now for the player manager. And Rush so close to finishing it off. Rush did get a touch there just before it went in, but it was a lovely ball played there by Spackman. His first real big contribution as a Liverpool player. Now Leash took it up. Southampton thought they'd got it away. Here's Bowlby, and Rush standing there, in fact, didn't get a touch. Bowlby's goal, 3-0, and a crowd of over 38,000 now delighting in the prospects of another Wembley visit. That's on for sure now. Now Leash. Southampton half clearance. Enter Jan Mulby. And Rush lets it go under his foot. Not Aldridge to take the penalty. It's Jan Mulby. And he scores from it. Jan Mulby. Easily done. 3-1 Liverpool. Liverpool fans behind the goal. Preparing to celebrate again as Mulby comes up and makes it 3 0. Barber getting a hand to it, but it was hit with sufficient power to make sure it finished up in the back of the net. 3 days after their Anfield anxieties against Manchester United when even manager Kenny Dalglish admitted Liverpool didn't deserve their point this was a much more convincing start against Sheffield Wednesday Jan Mulby meeting a Barry Venison cross after just 2 minutes It was expected to be Jan Mulby's Anfield farewell Liverpool had agreed to sell him to Spanish giants Barcelona but his parking shot from the penalty spot was followed by a breakdown in negotiations and just helping it forward. Rackley watching it carefully, dropping over his shoulder. Found only Nickel. Three forward in support. Way by Watson. Jan Mulby! Deflected and in! First blood to the Reds down at the cop end. Jan Mulby with a halberdover deflection is the Liverpool scorer. Watson said it was an anxious one. Morby controlled it well, but it was deflected, I think, off David Speedy. Neville Southall, wrong footed, had no chance. Jan Morby scored calmly enough, but the home team stormed back with three in reply. Six minutes of the first half remaining. Jan Morby, 1-0 Liverpool. Their first goal in going on five hours of football. And calm and stroked in by Jan Mulby. Cut went right, the ball went to his left. The stoppage time in the first half. Deja vu. Mulby scores again. Other side this time from Mulby. Two penalties in the closing five minutes of the second half. Each time Tony Cohn conceded it, and each time he was beaten. Peter Shilton with a penalty to face inside of seven minutes. Jan Mulby, his opponent. Only ever one winner. Liverpool ahead. Jan Mulby's spot kick, not nearly enough. 
Rangers 1-3-1. Two now it is. Lukic went the wrong way. Well, an amazing start with Leeds forcing the pace and Liverpool collecting the goals. But Jan Mulvey, who scored seven times from the spot this season, can bring Liverpool level here. And has done so against Martini and Liverpool lead cracking penalty curled right on top of the handbag in the corner of the net uh, quite amazing whatever he was thinking at this moment I don't know but he must have been totally relieved the keeper goes the right way a bit of a teaser but it got past him into the corner Oh, what was that? An explosion of a goal from Jan Morby. Forests were finally chopped down ten minutes from time. Mark Crossley, overawed by Big Jan's big free kick reputation, got a touch of the shakes and it was 2-0. A snaky run by Rosenthal and an injudicious challenge by the 18-year-old prevents presents Jan Morby with a chance to make it 1-0 to Liverpool. And here's Morby putting Liverpool into the lead. Very central, and it might appeal to Mulby. Second substitution by Liverpool. Harkness off, Kosmar on. Istvan Kosmar, the Hungarian, number 14, joins the play. Wonder if he fancies taking this free kick. It's Mulby! Oh, a belter! An absolute belter from Jan Mulby. It's 2-2. Two -two. What a match. They're relieved. He's dejected. But he's produced a goal that has turned the match yet again. Just look at the accuracy of that drive from Jan Mulvey. Craig Forrest had no chance. 99 minutes gone. Nine minutes, that is, into extra time. It's 2-2 two -two here at Anfield. Penalty taking made easy by Jan Mulby. Liverpool in front with 20 minutes to go. Two under Liverpool. Lukic going the right way. But unable to stop it. Finishing up in the corner. Got half a touch on it. Mulby with a chance to reduce the arrears. He does do. 2-1. It'll be Jan Bolby against John Lukic. Six minutes of the half remaining, and Liverpool have doubled their money. And Leeds United's misery on their travels continues. Calmly completed by Morby. The move in which he was so instrumental, and Lukic, the man who conceded the penalty, had no chance of saving it. Jan Bolby scored a penalty against Wimbledon last year. And Liverpool lost, can he? Start off the scoring tonight. A straight run. Claps it in. 15 minutes gone. Big Jan has put Liverpool ahead. The penalty king scores another. Easy as you like for Jan Mulby. It's as good as a goal when you get a penalty and Mulby's taking it. It'll be Jan Mulby on his return to senior football. And it's Liverpool in front. It's been a long, hard year for Jan Mulvey because of injury. But it may just be coming good. Mulvey, Liverpool are back in it. 